dividing terms. Let's look at 5 divided by 5. Is there another way we can write this? Well, there is. We can write it as 5 over 5. And we know 5 divided by 5 should equal 1 because any number divided by itself is 1. And this is one of the most important concepts when dividing terms. So if we have the same thing dividing it by itself, it always equals 1. So x divided by x is 1. y divided by y is 1. a divided by a is 1. x divided by y is just x divided by y. We're also going to have to remember how to simplify our fractions. So let's look at 10 over 15. To simplify, well, they're both divisible by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2 over 15 divided by 5 is 3, and that's the simplest form of that fraction. And we're going to need that when simplifying, when dividing terms. So 2x divided by 4x, the first step with division of terms should be to rewrite it. So we get 2x over 4x. Now, another way to look at when we have the same terms divided by each other in a fraction we can actually just cross them out because they divide into each other and leave us with one. So we're left with one and one in place of them, which remember means two times x, two, four times x. So when they divide with each other and leave one, we just have two times one, which will just be two, and four times one, which will be four. So we get just 2 over 4, but then we can simplify by dividing both of these by 2 and get 1 over 2. Let's look at 8ab divided by 12a. So rewrite it as a fraction, 12ab over 12a. Any terms that are the same divide into each other and leave behind 1. So the a's leave behind 1. And you can imagine now we're left with 8b over 12. But then the numbers can be simplified because they're both divisible by 4. So times. They're both divisible by 4. So 8 divided by 4 is 2, so we still got the b. And 12 divided by 4 is 3, and that's our final answer. So 8ab divided by 12a is 2b over 3. What about 12a squared divided by 18a? Well, here... They're both a, but they're not exactly the same because this one's a squared and this one's a. So if we're ever in this situation, we get rid of the small one and its power was one. It's just not. If there's no power, it means power of one. We get rid of the small one and then we subtract its power from the other one. So we're going to go two minus one. And 2 minus 1 leaves us with 1. But we don't have to write the 1. We actually don't write the 1. But I'm just going to write it there just so we can see for now. Over 18. And now we can just simplify the numbers. They're both divisible by 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2. We've still got the A. I'm not going to write the 1 this time. And 18 divided by 6 is 3. So we're left with... 12a squared divided by 18a leaves us with 2a over 3. Let's look at one more. 36a cubed b squared c to the power of 5 over 24a b squared 
c to the power of 7. Okay, so that's a cube there, that one. Let's rewrite it. Okay, now any that are exactly the same always cancel out with each other and become 1. So the b squared and the b squared will become 1. Now for the other ones that aren't exactly the same, we get rid of the small one and we subtract it from the power of the other one. So out of a cubed and a, remember, when there's nothing there, it means power of 1, which one's smaller? Well, that's a, just a. And its power was 1, and we subtract it from this, so this one becomes 2. Out of the others, c to the power of 5 and c to the power of 7, c to the power of 5 is smaller, so that's gone. And we need to subtract that power from this one, so 7 minus 5 is going to leave behind 2. So let's just write what we have so far, because it's getting a bit messy. 36a squared over, because the b squared and the c to the 5 are gone, over 24c squared, because the a and the b squared are gone from the denominator. And all we can do now is just simplify the numbers, because they're both divisible by 12. 36 divided by 12 is 3, so we've got 3a squared. Over 24 divided by 12 is 2, and we've still got the c squared. And that's our final answer.